Hello, this is Bridget Brown, Divine Essentials. Alright guys, we are going to do a reading for the next few weeks. Um, this is for the fire signs. So you could have Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries for your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. Or you could be a cross washer for somebody with those placements. If you do not know your placements, um, you can do a free natal chart online. You just kind of Google free natal chart. Uh, you need to know your time of birth and where you were born in order to get your rising sign but you can usually narrow it down even if you don't so you could either put in like 12 noon or 12 p.m and get basically you know all of your chart um what was i gonna say about all that something i keep doing that tonight i keep having brain freeze where it's like there's something i want to say about something i don't know but we're going to find out the overall energy between you and whomever you're dealing with. If you're a cross watcher or if you're a fire sign yourself. Oh yeah, and if this doesn't resonate, um, you check your chart and you can watch one of the other readings. So if you have like a earth, you know, moon, maybe the earth sign reading will resonate even more. So there will also be an extended version available for you. Ooh, you've got good fortune and stability on the bottom here. So whatever has been going on in your life, I feel like things are coming into a better time for sure. And what's ever been going on between you and this person that you're inquiring about, more stability is here. Good fortune is here. I'm seeing mean meaningful dreams on the bottom here. Um, so you could be having dreams in regards to this connection or just... Maybe you have dreams for your life, dreams for this connection. Maybe this has been something that you've really wanted for a long time. And it's just, maybe now it's becoming more feasible to have it. There's some sort of stability that you're tapping into. So if you haven't been feeling very stable, or if you've been feeling like, oh, things aren't good, um, I feel like these next couple of weeks are going to help you to come into a more abundant time. 35 adds up to 8. So that's like that infinite expansion, abundance you know, just transformation, I feel, is this is going to be a really good time for you all. We also have kindred spirits coming through, so this could be, you know, a soulmate or twin flame, some sort of energy like that. There's some sort of emotional purity between the two of you. This is number six, and I'm, I'm instantly, you know, seeing, um, like, the, the six of cups energy, like reconciliation, inner child. So there's something pure about you guys, pure about your connection, your spirit, you know, it, it, you're, I feel like you're two, one in the same, all right? You were split into two different souls, but there's a purity about this connection that I feel like hasn't been, you haven't been able to find it anywhere else, and this person may have not been able to find it anywhere else, but whatever has been going on in the past between the two of you, I think more stability and abundance, transformation, happiness is coming. I just, I just dropped a few cards and death was on the bottom when I picked it up. So that is about death and rebirth. So whatever has been going on here, you guys are about, look at that. I just shuffled it. It's on the bottom. You guys are definitely going through something here, some sort of transformation, higher level commitment. This is definitely a significant love connection. Um, and whatever whatever wasn't working out emotionally for you, you're leaving that behind, okay? Coming into a place with more balance. So the Six of Swords is about moving on into calmer times, leaving the troubles behind. The Eight of Cups can be seen as emotional withdrawal, but when these two come out together with all this other energy, I feel like you're leaving behind anything that was causing, you know, waves within your emotions, anything that was causing you to feel badly about each other, about your life there's this purity coming in you're letting go of it you have illumination happening and that oh, i just noticed is number 11 so there's there's very high you know twin flamey energy here and we all know in order to come into alignment with your counterpart on a twin flame journey you need to be balanced within yourself and they need to be balanced within themselves so if in the past there wasn't a lot of balance or if you were more tapped into one energy over the other maybe there was karmic crap happening um you guys may be working together to build something more solid, more stable as you move forward. So let's see um, what this person thinks about you at this time. This is really good energy. So we have the King of Wands coming through. So this person is very passionate about you. They see you as their destiny. And this is definitely a time of transformation. So we have the Death card again. Um, 
and the Hierophant. So this person feels like maybe you came in and you shook up their world. Like something, something changed when you walked in. All right. It was like you walked in and everything else was like, whoa, my entire life just went through this death process. This is a higher level thing. I can't ignore this. And I don't want to ignore this because it's bringing abundance. It's bringing happiness. It's bringing me into my emperor status. This is somebody of power, control. You know, they got their shit together. They are the embodiment of all the kings. This is that stable person that any burdens the two of you had in the past, it's like, boom, we're getting rid of those. Death of the old, birth of the new. We're bringing in tons of financial support, tons of emotional support. Just this is what we were meant to do. You know, this is this is it. And you do have a lot of like your energy here. We got Aries. We've got like all of the the um, sun sign, fire sign energies. Um, Hierophant is Taurus. So you have Scorpio here. I mean, you could be dealing with these people, but really, you know, it doesn't matter. I feel like whatever's gone on here is a huge transformation and you guys are both ready. Okay. These kindred spirits are both ready for the stability that this connection is bringing them. They're ready for the abundance because like if you're on a twin flame journey and you come into union, you know, whatever abundance you have on your own or whatever good fortune you've been attracting on your own, it just triples and magnifies because the universe blesses you. <laughs> Look at judgment. The universe is blessing you um, at this time. And I, I think whatever, whatever competition or conflict or whatever crap you had in the past, it's time to put that in the past, okay? And I feel like that's what's happening too. There's like an illumination, you know, if you were really hurt and jaded or maybe... Um, you know, you're just feeling really badly about this. It's almost like you're cleansing that away so that you can be in a more stable place. And that what that is doing is pushing this forward quickly. It's bringing that stability. It's helping you guys to get away from the conflict and the, the crap. There could have been secrets here. I, and I feel like the, the secret that may be at this time too is that this person may want to apologize to you or they may want to make some sort of love offered towards you. Page of Cups is somebody that has some sort of love to give you. They're a little like unsure about it, but I feel like that's the secret here. They could There could have been some sort of competition or, you know, third party energies in the past, but I feel like that's over with with the Teth card. It's like whatever was not working in this connection, it's over with. We're putting it behind us and you may need to apologize to this person or this person may need to apologize to you. But I feel like once that happens, it's like you guys are letting go because you do have this like pure love between the two of you. It's not, I don't think there's anything that one of you, you know, maybe a, could have done to the other that was so bad. I feel like if anything, maybe you knew this person was with somebody else and that was what was keeping or standing in the way. But now it's like we're putting that in the past. We're getting rid of the darkness within this connection. And I feel like for a lot of you, by the time of the full moon, this person may be showing up to communicate some sort of truth to you and some sort of offer of love. Okay, um, so they, they're definitely thinking about you and thinking about making some sort of offer towards you. Some of you may be getting an apology. Um, and they could be thinking of you as their empress. Okay, so Divine Feminine with her emperor. That's so funny because we saw emperor come out. Um, they see you as their perfect match. You're the empress to their emperor or vice versa. But you're their world. You're their completion. You're where this story ends. You know, when they plan for the future, when they think about the future, they're thinking about you. So you're probably single, confident, independent. You may be tied to somebody else. You may be the one that had the third party, but it's like you're putting that behind. You're ready to let it go. You're probably ready to file for divorce. You're seeing things from a new perspective. You're ready to be this single, sexy, confident, pre empress so that you can attract to you your emperor and become the empress so let's see what they feel towards you at this time so we do have the moon coming out so the moon can indicate secrets but it's also insecurities so i'm feeling like they they're definitely could be holding back the way that they're feeling about you right now but they definitely feel like you're their person you're their soulmate you're their twin flame you're the person that they're supposed to end up with um and I feel like that's the secret. Yeah. When they think about the future, they're seeing things from a different perspective now. And they may just be nervous about letting you know about it. Because 
I feel like some sort of tower moment has happened with this situation. There could have been a really painful ending for you or them. Maybe they had to leave behind a family. Maybe they had to say goodbye to their kids or, you know, and it's not like saying goodbye. It's just like things are going to change. I'm not going to be living with your mom or I'm not going to be living with your dad. But these are usually things that need to happen because you don't want your whole family growing up in that energy of being miserable and just being with somebody just because at one point you love them and now you realize you don't you know you don't want to stay stuck in that energy that's why I've always been weird about marriage and kids because you do not know for sure if you're going to end up with the person that you spit a child out with and got married to um so I've always been a little weird about that but I think it's better for us to be free and to explore what we truly want in our lives than to stay stuck and stagnant in, an, in a connection that doesn't truly serve us. But I feel like what this person is feeling is that they want, if they haven't already began this process of tearing this stuff down, this is what they want. They're ready to, to put an end to the painful living situation that they're within or either that you're ready to put an end to the painful situation that you're living in. If you're looking towards the future from that higher perspective. You want to reconcile. They want to reconcile. And you may not be communicating it to each other, um, but there's, there's this definite energy there. Okay, So this person feels like they want you back in their life. And I feel that there's insecurities, doubts, you know, there's a lot of fear here. But at the end of the day, they still want that. They still feel that. You know, you can't, you can't deny your feelings. So we do have the hangman coming out. And I feel like this person, you know, in this time of stagnation or in the time of, you know, waiting for this person to get out of their commitment that they were in, they started seeing things from a different perspective as well. Because the hangman, you know, he awakens to new things, to new ideas. And once he awakens, he frees himself from the self-imposed trap that they keep themselves within. So they feel like they want to be your king of pentacles. They want to offer you that pentacle. You know, so she, we saw you as that nine of pentacles. He wants to offer you that last one so you can have this. This is the dream, you know. This is the home with the white fence and the kids and the 2.5 kids and the job of your dreams. It's victory, okay. It's emperor and empress. And this person feels like they want to make that offer to you so that you guys can have something amazing so you can have temperance balance union this is my yes union energy card but it takes patience to get there and you may have been fearful at times that it was never going to come but i do feel that it's going to come with this person for a majority of you so let's see um how they view you and then i'm going to take it over to vimeo and we're going to see what they want to say to you um what could happen over the next few weeks and the final outcome of your connection. So this is like, what do they want with you? What do they view? How do they view you? Okay, what does this person want? How are they viewing you at this time? I think we already asked how they view you. So this is more what do they want. Um, all right, what do they want? Nothing's popping. <laughs> it's like they're getting flopped inside. What do you guys want? Page of Cups. So this person does want to offer you their, their cup of love. Page of Cups is also that new young love, like the butterflies in your stomach, feeling all giddy and weird, um, a little awkward, that insecure energy we saw with the moon. The, the world is trying to pop out. It didn't like jump, but it definitely wanted to. Um, and so I feel like what this person wants is to like put an end to the story where there's separation, okay? They're, they're wanting... They're wanting to put an end to this Five of Cups of feeling like I'm stuck and everything's bad and I don't have what I want and I'm not the person I love and my kindred spirit's not there for me. You know, they want the end of that. They want the next part of this journey to unfold. So they want your love, okay? This Page of Cups wants to offer their, their cup to you and they want you to love them. They, want, they see you as their, their Two of Cups. They see you as their fulfillment. They see you as this Nine of Pentacles, single, sexy, confident, independent person, and they want to give you that Ten of Pentacles. They want to take that leap of faith to work together with you to build something solid. Okay, so they see you as their Empress to the Emperor, which we've already seen a few times here. 
Carl, when they do want union with you. Okay, so let's go see what they want to say and then what's going to happen over the next few weeks and the final outcome because they may want it, they may view you in this way, but who knows what they're going to do about it, all right? So let's go see what they're going to do about all this. You can follow me down below. Thank you very much. In Mune, namaste.